It was stage four, moving into the second half of the week of racing in the Santos Tour Down Under. The ride is going away from Unley down to Gulwa today. And for a lot of people, it was an early start. At six o'clock in the morning, over 8,000 cyclists took part in the mutual community ride and then followed the professionals. Paul, the wind is still blowing here in Gulwa. It was very tough towards the end. It's very tough for the people who took part in the community ride, but I tell you what, it made for a very exciting finale because the wind blowing across the course like this had a lot of riders, hands on the handlebars and looking for their brakes. But again, featured by a long breakaway, seven riders getting together on the climb up to Frox Creek. And in the end, they led for 134 of the 150 kilometers. But really, the story of the day was the hard work put in towards the end, once the crosswinds and the headwinds really took their toll. The biggest surprise of the day, there's no doubt about it, Paul, was Lance Armstrong's attack. What happened there? Well, what happened was uh, Radio Shack went to the front and they were putting the pressure on. And Armstrong himself afterwards said, all of a sudden, his teammate Thomas Vikas made such an effort. When they looked around, there was nobody else there. So they thought, well, why don't we have a go? And I tell you what, the crowd were all excited because they thought they were going to see a Lance Armstrong victory. Well, we all did, but as it came down to the finish, of course, everybody was swept up. And when everybody comes to the finish together, it seems only one man can win. And that was Andre Greipel. He's now won three of the four stages. Small win bonus, so he gets out a little bit further into the lead. But tomorrow, believe me, Everything could change as we go up for two climbs of the old Wollonga Hill. We'll see you then.